really, really a sniper, eh? A sniper, eh? Yeah, yeah, you, you jump around, you keep jumping around like an idiot. So, are these sewers? I guess they are, although this makes no sense. And this is like water recycling instead of sewers. Because there's no free water on the asteroid. I mean, we need sewers on Earth because it rains a lot. Right, there's actually a lot of water running around our planet. Even though, you know, not all of it is, is you know, drinking water, which is a problem. But there's a lot of water. Like, in most places on, on Earth, there's more water than you need, and you want to get rid of it. So that's why we have sewers on Earth. You know, because when it rains, if you don't get rid of the water, then you get flooded, right? On an asteroid like this, I'm, I'm quite surprised that there's this much water on an asteroid. You know what I mean? It seems pretty unlikely. Uh, there's no... alright, there's no... there's no loot there. Although, I mean, this could be water storage and water recycling, which which would make sense if that were the case. Extend the dam in the control room. Alright, we'll do that. We'll do that. Just uh, double check for any more upgrades or money. And, um... What's going on here? What's going on here? Nothing useful. I have blank tables? What's this about? There's nothing here. Oh, I guess this is that, that stuff. Let's go. All right. So we extend the dams, and then we get across there. So, all right. So now this area is dry. Also, chairs. Good. More loot for me, more progress for Nyrene, everything's going just fine. Let me come down here first. <laughs> and couch. Eric, found what you wanted. Sending you the coordinates now. Is that my couch? Yes, it is, Arya. Yes it is. Um, hmm, alright, no boots this way. Let's keep moving forward. What's going on here? Nothing up there. And nothing behind here, but there is a Medigel station. I just saw a health bar. Oh dear. Really? Get exploded. <laughs> nope. I mean, wouldn't that make you really sad? If you're holding a shield, and the shield does nothing? <laughs> like, you're the guy with the shields. Like, everybody else is training with guns. You know, some people are training to be engineers. You're training to be the shield guy. And then, you know, after all your training, you feel like, Hey, I'm pretty good with this shield. Maybe I can go out there and... and take out Shepard with my shield. We need to get to the central column before Cerberus sets off those bombs. And then you get out there... and the shield does nothing. <laughs> wow, what a sad day for the shield guy, right? <laughs> Oh, by the way, usually the shield stops everything. It's only because I have armor piercing on my weapons. Or, you know, the, the cover piercing on my weapons, that they don't do anything. So under most circumstances, the shield does pretty good. But, um... Not against me, not today. Can't 
I'll walk back up. We're hitting less resistance. I think they're sending forces your way. Yeah, alright. So now it's this part. Messing with the support columns. We have to stop them. Do we now? Maybe explode. That guy. And uh, lasers. This guy. Over there. We can get to the bomb controls once the access panels are open. Well, before we do that, I'm gonna go look for loot because. We won't have time to do this once we access the bomb controls. Let me just uh So if you're playing on higher difficulty, you wanna leave the med gel in place because you're gonna need it during this combat sequence. But since we are not playing on high difficulty, we don't really care about that. We're just gonna get the experience. I don't think I've really used med gel the entire game. I think I've used it once, and maybe like once on accident. All right, so as you can see, it's like a it's like a circular arena, and there's an area in the middle. And if you are thinking to yourself, well, a circular arena and this AI usually means that you get flanked a lot. If you're thinking that, then you are correct. You are absolutely correct. You will get flanked a lot in this sequence, which makes this combat kind of difficult. Got it. There you go. So there's four of these things. Those bombs just went live. The console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. Of course we do. Of course we do. Take care of the bomb, Shepard. I'll handle Cerberus. So you have to kind of sit around here to disable these bombs. Relax. Let me just take care of this guy because he's not being friendly to me. Alright, kill him. Any enemies here? No? Alright. So you can see how the enemies you know, go around both sides of you. Is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hey! That's not cover! Alright, let's just check if there's any enemies. Oh, hey, the Ar I mean, um, Arya's here. Alright, let's kill these guys before they kill us. Oh, hey, Engineer, what are you doing? I'm trying to set up tunnels. Arya, kill him. Alright, so there's one more, and I think the enemies are somewhere else. So sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get lucky and the enemies are like on the other side of the bomb, and so you don't have to, you know, try to deal with them as you're disarming. Sometimes you get really unlucky and they all swarm at you from both sides. Uh, you know, I don't think it's good game design if there's luck involved with the combat sequence, although there's always a bit of luck involved. But if if the outcome, you know, depends entirely on luck, then it's not really good game design. Although a lot of games on higher difficulties are like that. This way, Shepard. Like on lower difficulties, you know, even if you get unlucky, if you're skillful, you can overcome the odds. But a lot of games on high difficulties, if the luck is against you, then there's nothing you can do about it because it's so difficult. We're clear. Good. Nyreen, things are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing to the Gozu district. Move forward. Keep that flank covered. Yes, boss. Alright. holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Save those you can, and head for the rendezvous point. We'll meet you there. 
We'll do what we can. My reen out. So, how exactly do we get to afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. That can't be safe. Don't play with moving fans, guys. That's usually really, really dangerous. Anyway, we're pretty close. Oh, that's convenient. A ladder. The adjutant. How do you know? Never mind. That's definitely Cerberus. And the adjutant is out. Oh, hey, more experience. More money. That can't be safe. So the fan's broken, but this thing is still spinning. Oh, um, all right. No money there. Yeah, I know assault soldier, uh, assault trooper. I know the engine is out. Ah, get pwned. Uh, here. Nom nom nom. Yes, nom 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 nom. Alright, well those guys are dead. And uh, we are going to the Doru district? I guess we are. He's dead. What else do we have? Panels? He's also dead. Looks like they bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. We're not getting a move on until I pick up all the monies. Ah, yeah. Uh, he's dead too. All right. Well, let, let's let's listen to this thing. Actually, no. Let's look around a bit more. Um. Yes. More credits. Of course, we look around more. So they are creating the adjutants. We can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project oh. on schedule. Alright, so their idea is... We're experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. So they, they've, the implant controls into the nervous system, and then they convert them into adjutants. And then they can control them, and they are using the civilians to create more adjutants. Except it didn't really work out for these guys, so yeah. Why would you even do that? Why would you even use Reaper technology to create things that you... 
Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. High priority memo. Test adjutants have escaped. <laughs> yes, yes, they have. They are to be rounded up and transferred to central headquarters holding area post haste. Damage is to be avoided at all costs under penalty of severe combat pay deductions. So you have to capture. Makes sense considering what they had locked up in here. Doors unlocked. Let's get out of here. These guys were ordered to capture the adjutants alive without harm. Interesting. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Also, I have armor piercing. I can shoot guys through windows. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Where is he? Okay, now she's behind cover. The nemesis is like a sniper. Is she a sniper? I don't know, but I'm shooting her. Oh crap. So what I'm doing is I'm avoiding opening that door. So they can't hit me, but I can hit them. Like that, look at that. Ha! Ah! Get shot, nemesis. There's more enemies out there, but I can take care of them too. This is so overpowered. Oh, there's another guy there. Fascinating. You're behind cover? No, you're not. Alright, so I think. Oh, wait, there's one more enemy. Okay, there. Enemy there. 